NJ Spotlight News is talking with young voters about some of their biggest issues in this election cycle. Climate change, women's rights, foreign affairs, and the economy. But it's not a debate or an argument. We're having someone from each side of the aisle sit down for a civil, educated discussion to hear their points of view and why these issues are driving them to the polls in November. Plus, we're playing Jenga. This is Party Games. I'm Derek Ryan. I'm a grad student at Rutgers University, uh, trying to become a teacher right now. And I'm here because I'm concerned about the environment and how uh, we continue to pollute it. How's it going? My name's Joe Miller. I'm from Audubon, New Jersey. Graduate from University of Maine. I'm a real, real estate agent down in Camden County. And I'm here today to really just see how we can get both sides on the same page about climate change. We're playing traditional Jenga, but with a twist. Some blocks are labeled with questions related to the given topic. If a question block is pulled, each participant will share their answers. This video has been edited down for brevity. I do believe climate change is happening. I'm never gonna say that it's not an issue. It's not, it's not happening. I don't think any modern day Republican really feels that way anymore. I feel that they know it's a thing and they know that man is having an effect on it. It's just that we need to see how financially we can how financially we can go forward with stopping the growth of climate change while also making sure that Americans are able to live. I think it might depend on the um, you know Republican because a lot of them will uh, you know it's kind of on a sliding scale of like it's not happening we're not causing it you know we are causing it but there's nothing we can do. And what it is, I, I think, it, from my experience, I feel it's a lot of the older generation Republicans. It's not really Republicans that are young voters like you and I. It's the ones that, like the Ronald Reagan Republicans, that have been in it for so long, and they're just, they're worried. They're worried about any lies because they don't fully trust the government that we have. Or in other words, it's the ones that are actually going to be here to deal with the worst consequences that are worried about. Exactly. And I'm, I do agree with that. We actually see that, listen, we're going we're gonna to be here. We're going to be here. I'm probably going to have kids, have grandkids that are here. I want to make sure that they don't have to go in a hazmat suit to go to public school every day. Like, so I do think we agree on that 100% there. We do want uh, the earth to be livable. Yep, definitely. See, I don't want to do another middle one because that's just a blank and I feel, I feel bad doing another blank one. I gotta try something on the bottom here. Got it. So whenever I, uh, you know, eat meat, uh, I try to make it like, you know, chicken that tends to be better both, you know, health wise and just environmentally how much resources it takes. But, you know, obviously, you know, if my dad's offering me a hamburger, I'm not going to say no. Uh, that's, what, that's where I'm at, honestly, Derek. It's, I'm okay with eating beef. I would just cut it out for health reasons, probably not climate change reasons, because I feel that me eating beef really isn't going to have that much of a difference in the end of it, just because we have individuals that are flying private jets all around the world. I think me having a double hamburger or every, even every night each each week of, of the week, if I wanted to, and they can't really, it still want to add to the negative effects that they're having to it. Yeah, I mean, this isn't really like a, you know, an issue where individual actions can make like a whole lot of uh, difference. Like at most we could maybe like subsidize meat less than we do other foods. Uh, right now it's like heavily subsidized, which make, you know, leads it to being cheaper, which leads to Americans eating, you know, more meat on average, which leads to, you know, both climate and health issues. And I agree with that because a lot of the health issues that we're getting, it's not even just how it's subsidized and everything, but also the bioengineer food that we're getting now. That it's not only the beef that I think that people should look into these different um, just health issues just for themselves, not just climate change, but to make sure their health is on track. Because, you know, in America, we have an obesity on the rise and everything. And so... It could definitely kill two birds with one stone. Yeah, definitely uh, struggling success for when it comes to like producing food there. Definitely. I'm guessing all the middle ones are probably blank. Yeah, I'm guessing it's gonna be a bit <laughs> until we get to yeah. this question there. Let's see. <laughs> oh no, isn't the rule that I gotta push until it? You can get another turn. I think I also did a little grab, so we'll do, count as a mulligan. Yeah, we're doing street rules.
Um, you know, I might soon, given, you know, electrical infrastructure for that kind of thing, like becoming more widespread. Uh, although I wouldn't want to make it seem like that's going to be like, you know, the be all end all of, uh, you know, transportation fixes for climate change. Because, uh, you know, electric cars, they have less of an impact in the long run uh, than, you know, traditional fossil fuel cars. Um, although they still have their own environmental issues when making them and it is, you know, more efficient, uh, you know, environmentally speaking for like, you know, public transit, making it, you know, making things walkable. Uh, mainly in cities, obviously, that's harder to do in more uh, rural areas. And I like how you mentioned public transportation because that's where they do it a lot with like buses and trains. And I love that. I do think that electric cars, I personally would get one. If I, I just know currently right now, we need to get it where the average American could afford an electric car and on top of it where our grid could also just be able to support it. Just so people are able to, we live in Jersey, so we want people to be able to, if they have an electric car, come from Philadelphia all the way up to Newark, if they really have to, all on a single charge. And I think they're gonna get there eventually, but the technology is still getting there. And where you said it's still not good for the environment and it isn't fully good for the environment, it is better, like you said, but with the issue where how they produce it with like the cobalt mines and everything. It's just, you look at how some of the countries are mining it and everything they're using like oh, yeah, child ethical labor concerns, yeah. and a lot of ethical concerns with it. So that always comes into play. But I have, the, honestly, I have no problem with electric cars. It's just, we need to make sure that it's actually the viable way to go. Yep. <laughs> you really did me dirty with that man. Leaving me on my metal. I took all that I could. You did? Now you're doing the game. Oh. 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 oh, yeah, no, I thought it definitely helps just understanding the other side it's definitely because yep. you see it with the, this day and age it's more like they want you to attack because like, <laughs> they hate the other side so it's better when you can actually like talk and discuss and like figure out because i'm sure you're like you probably kind of had an idea like oh, a yeah. republican's coming he's gonna be like drill baby yeah, drill. Yeah. Like, I, I was gonna i think i was gonna say um you know i was expecting to do more explaining on like okay well no the yes yes the climate has changed before but it's pretty bad right now it is a problem and you know <laughs> It was uh, refreshing to not have to explain that it explain, is an like, issue is for the whole time. Thing, I promise you, I didn't yeah. have to fool that with. We're actually talking about what we do about it. Exactly. Yeah, I would love to see more of that on the national scale. It, it has to get there. But again, that's an age thing. Like, I'd say it's more of a money thing. Well, a money thing too. Well, that's a lobbyist. That's when exactly. the lobbyists yeah. come into play when money has no reason to be in our politics. Yeah. Shame.